Hello YouTubers, thought I'd show you a new jig that I built for my son. It was just recently he got into making power cord bracelets and I made him this wooden jig from leftover pieces of hardwood flooring. I mentioned in another video I've got a lot of hardwood flooring around so very simple just cut a few pieces, screw them together, piece of cloth, the male part of the uh, clip female part of the clip and then what he does is connects the clip and he starts braiding these power cord bracelets this style here is called a trilobite style now my son's 12 years old it's not perfect these are the first four he's made so far this is the last one he's getting better at it But he's having fun with it, so here's a real trilobite. And if you're wondering where they get the trilobite from, well, I like fossils, so obviously I'm pretty sure every fossil collector has a trilobite in their collection. It comes from Morocco, by the way. So, and that's why they call it the trilobite pattern. Um, so he was doing these, he was enjoying it, so I figured to make him a better jig. Here is the digs, fossils. Jig Deluxe. How does it work? Well again it's built using three pieces of hardwood flooring, oak, glued them together, then next day one piece to hold them back there, one piece to hold them over here. I mount two more pieces on top and then I have this piece that slides out and I can use any size clip I want. I just need to attach the male part here. So this would be the female part. If I want to use a larger one, you put the other piece in. Right? These are about seven inches, so you would clip here, right, and clip in there start making your bracelets. I've got them measured and marked out, one inch increments. You can put the stop there. That would be the bottom, that would be the top. Gravity holds it in place, it's kind of snug. And to store the extra pieces, I can make more of these if I want, all different sizes. Store them over there. Throw in this one here. My own design. What do you guys think? The Swedish power cord nut hasn't a very good one. This one was easy to build. So, what do you guys think? If I made the uh, piece a little smaller, I can put another stop back here. Or if I made it larger, put another stop back here so it would hold it in place better. But actually, it's pretty snug. And if you're working with this on the bottom and that on top, gravity holds it down. And I do love the bra bracelets my son is making. Alrighty guys, have a good night. Thanks for watching.